Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States. And in this episode, we are defending against a Sally from Rome. So let's deal with this petulant garrison myself. Uh, so, I think the plan for this campaign for the next few episodes is likely to be war with Russia because we are approaching the Persian border in the Middle East and that's kind of blo um, blocking our uh, route of advance but it does mean I probably want to start um, moving troops eastward ready to jump onto Russian territory when it becomes available so I think Kiev's quite I think Kiev isn't well defended, and I know Vilnius is within attack range of Poland. So as we move troops east, we need to make sure that we um, build up our... Ooh, this is quite nice. Build up our um, garrisons to protect the cities and the front lines against the likes of Prussia. Okay, good. That's all good. Okay. Uh, pick... Some of my small units can deploy up on this hill because it'll be fun. Gunners can just hmm. maybe let's put them in the in the uh, line. Let's get my other with artillery piece. Get them up on this little bit of high ground here. This infantry get ready to form up our right flank. Selection of good infantry. Actually, if you guys hold between. So they can't cross. Oh, they can push up here. Okay, right. Let's just form a line. Get the rest of my army in reserve, see where the enemy is going to deploy from, howitzers deploy back. Something like that. Cluster my cavalry up. General get up here as well. Let's maybe put one unit of light infantry up here to go on the right flank. Okay, let's. Didn't want to deploy there. There we go. Any reinforcements coming in right at the back. Okay, the regiment of foot there, but the light infantry there. Really clunky for a line, but it'll do. The light Dragoons and Light Cavalry up over here. So you weren't shooting at anything before. Trapnel shot that unit of infantry. So they got how it, they got mortars inside the fort, but they should abandon those guns. Shrapnel shot away. Excellent hit. Closing up the ranks. Make sure my howitzers are engaging. These units. Good hit. They're wavering. They're both going for that unit. But I say we keep bombarding. They stoically march up towards the hill. Oh, they're stepping away from the guns. Move my dragoons up. They can start engaging. And it's snowing. 
So here's enemy reinforcements, but obviously their army is very depleted. So I'm not going to get much help from there. My dragoons are about to give them a volley. Quick clones hit, so they might actually break. Reload. Light infantry going to be next up. Well, oh, garrison line have shattered. Okay, withdraw my dragoons just a little bit. Oh, doesn't matter because it's GG. Let's crank the speed up on this one because it looks like it might just take a while. There we go. Some of the gun crews have abandoned their guns. This gun team engaged the armed citizenry. This gun team bombard household cavalry. Quick climb, attack the enemy infantry. Excellent hits. Any regiment of horse pushing up, but they'll soon start to get picked off. Our dragoons will give them a volley. Light infantry are going to open up. They didn't hurry up soon. This unit will reload by the time they get here. Carbines ready. Oh, this is going to be deadly. Yeah, that's the end of them. Let everyone reload for the general's bodyguard that's going to come in. There are the gunners. Volley the general's body. Got oh, you, lucky sausage. Let <laughs> Enemy cavalry is pushing forward. And my infantry are all ready to fire. Thinning them down. The goons gave them a volley. Yeah, that's the end of them. These poor gun crews. You may have to. Um, make a breach and attack that last unit because they is their general's bodyguard. Swords at the ready. Oh, they've had enough. So is that unit but they're still ready to go. Okay, let's get my howitzers to work on these units, because the ones directly ahead of us, they can at least engage them with foot artillery. Force Grenadier Guards attempting to skirmish us, but unsuccessfully. In this gun team. Try shrapnel shot these guys as well. <laughs> Bring up the heavy cavalry. I 
switch the howitzers to other units. The role of the heavy cavalry will be to shatter whomever isn't shattered. Oh no, I've gone onto my other monitor. Damn blast. Got far too keen. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's get back in. My bad, guys. Very unprofessional. Oh, they're shattered anyway. Oh, they're both shattered. Let's let them get a few kills. That'll do. I think though that is going to be as these guys make it up to the line. We speed up time just because we want to see them get into musket range. Garrison guards at full strength from entering the battle, but not in full strength overall. Oh, they've lost their colours. Fire the volley. But they at least have a few numbers of Italian troops. Oh, quick climbs come in. No. They've had enough. The fifth. The fifth still fighting, as are the first. Excellent. The howitzers switch to round shot. Everybody switch to round shot. Attack that section of the wall. Because it's their general, they might not push them in. So we need to be ready to have to advance onto them. There we go. That unit's in range. Push you down, just provide a bit of extra firepower. Fifth foot guards, the veteran foot guards are back. Go, forming up their lines, make ready and fire. Saw them off. And where's my light cav? Let's make that breach, send the cavalry in, and they will come and annihilate the gunners. 38%, 42%. Okay, we do need a unit of foot artillery, or actually, I think we're recruiting rockets for this army. I think they're going to come in. To put in that gap, which is pretty handy. They'll be quite good for a um, siege assault. Well, I'll say that. A bit too much cavalry. 79. Let's bring the cavalry forward. Gun the mortars are going to fire at them. But the plan is the wall. There we go. Charge! Oh, there we go. Now they're at threat and they're being attacked. They didn't like it one bit. Nice. So I don't think we haven't captured Rome yet, but we have defeated the garrison plus these guys nearby. Russia's going to rush it. Yes, we could attack St. Petersburg as well. We could properly do a... Fire a good opening salvo, destroying Russia. Then we may end up attacking... The Ottomans, perhaps. Because the Ottomans have that one territory in the middle of Russia. No, we need to build fortifications and build some defensive armies. Okay. Come on. 
workers have rioted in Naples. Yeah. What did they break? Iron Master's works. Well, they're both being upgraded, so alright. Let's we cancel building both of those. Just to stop, just to not make industrialization any worse. So why? Okay, more upgrades. More economy. Particularly chap school in Austria. Okay, right. Government building. Good, 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 good. Corpus Christi, here you go. Have a sloop. Good, lots of top upgrades. Spain's upset with us, as you can imagine. Church school, church school. We've already got happiness buildings. I might just exempt them from tax. I only want church school to get a few more priests. Sevilla can become a craft workshop. Infrastructure is being upgraded, the army is being replenished, everything's good. Fleet arrived. Ross Butler. Okay, let's replace. We're replacing you on station, aren't we? But let's pick up another trade zone. Fifth rates come back. You're still growing. You're, you should still be growing. So somebody must have... Yeah, there they are. Yes, privateers. Okay, good. That's still ongoing. Natural causes. Nathaniel Green. He died. Okay. Take everybody except the infantry unit out of Trinidad. Anything more? We're recruiting gunner, Leopold Fletcher. Okay. Immediately. In position. So let's move this company line infantry over to here. Ready. Yes, sir. Okay, we need to do make yes. sure that we are. Okay, you you've got a Gurkha. Yes. You've got a Gurkha. You don't have a yes, Gurkha, sir. so that's where you're gonna go. Yes, sir. You're going to come back. Oh no, that, jam that army's in the way. Too bad. And this army, free up company infantry. Okay. How many more Gurkhas are you recruiting? None. We're fully Gurkhaed up. Awesome. Let's recruit another army here. We're using... All these displaced troops as the basis of a new force. Actually, let's get get some camels. Actually, we probably don't need any more infantry. Although we can't recruit much of any use elsewhere. Get another Howitz unit, get another, and then get an a Indian mercenary unit. Okay, Portugal. Right. Sir. So if we want to attack Russia, some of these armies have to stay where they are. Hanover still hasn't made peace with what's happening yet. Let's recruit a batch of dragoons in the Netherlands. Send out for garrison purposes. You're picking up rocket troop. Okay, you can pick up these skirmishers. Okay, right. So what needs to happen is you need to head over to here. Hungary. First of all, this army needs to come out of the fort. You need a foot artillery unit plus 
it's an infantry unit of some description. Plus an engineer, then you'll be ready. This army, the native African infantry just isn't great. So we're going to keep some of them. But you're going to need four units of, well, two units of regular line, plus garrison guard, plus fusilier. Then you'll be ready. You probably can't leave Austria yet. Minus four. No, not quite. So you, this army can leave Croatia, but Croatia is going to build or oh, recruit slowly over time, recruiting a garrison force because we have to hedge ourselves against the Ottomans coming to try kill us. Okay, you come over here as well. You come over here. Ah, actually, you're, like, you might be able to make this work then. Well, actually, you're so that we can free up the Bavarian garrison. Because they too are going to come over here. Or oh, they're going to go up here. Actually, no. Yeah, I've not I've neglected this. We've got, yeah, we can jump on your garb and build on the earth. We can bottle in um, the Prussians. Here, well... I suppose if I let's, let's check because I think the Prussians are our allies they're also allied with Russia so they might if I don't more well, I might have to call them in just so we don't get screwed Make ready. March. okay you're gathering your strength At the ready. come on okay engineer so you're still recruiting, we can keep... Well, ultimately, really, it depends on um, what happens to the Prussians. Because if they join us, we can send both these armies. One of them can land and try and take Finland. One can probably sail to try and tax St. Petersburg if we bottle up their fleet here. And up here at Urst, it's not a very good army. But if we're against armies that don't have anything to defend them, like Ufa, then we might be okay. Or they might go for Arkhangelsk, because Ufa will be a target for armies coming up from the Middle East. But I think now is the time. So, Cloudsley Cockburn, let's give you an order. Oh, no, no, no. I've realised none, none of my other armies are in position yet. In Europe, really. I've got plenty of armies that are not ready to go. So just give everybody else orders to push up to the front line. Okay, you've got your mercenaries, then up you go. Nice. You sit in this tray of four moves. Okay, I think I need to... Okay, right. That's done, that's done. You're going to get... Ah, full artillery. You're going to go in and bolster them. Let's see if I can move these dragoons over to Genoa. That's not enough. I think we, that's going to be enough for them to stay in line. Let's recruit some militia. See if we can see if that will help. You're going to stay nearby though, but replenishing. Okay, let's go deal with Venice. Armando Tremonti, no artillery, very depleted garrison. Let's go take him out. But yeah, we're in a very awkward position right now, and I think we need to use our power in the Middle East to balance it. So we have to attack Russia. We may end up having to attack the Ottomans. 
but I'm hoping if I can tidy up the Italian peninsula, those armies can be deployed to the Balkans to deal with the Ottomans there, because we're going to have a f quite a few armies barreling through the Middle East. So I think what we can do is the armies that are attacking, um, that are going to be advancing over the northern route, they can attack Russia, whereas the southern route troops can probably focus on the Middle East. Anyway, the, the enemy garrison here is pretty weak, so we haven't got to do anything too clever. We're still going to quick climb the bejesus out of them. Okay, cavalry just hunker down behind the lines. You men make your breach. These men attack with quick climb. Good block of cavalry in the centre, but we're not overly bothered about that. Start knocking some blocks out of their troops. Okay. So let's give these units some of these infantry units to attack. What are they up to? 24%. Just let things tick on. Okay, let's make sure these are targeted. So I want to use one unit here to attack the grenadiers. So I might want to see to attack that section of the wall. And the enemy. Oh, that, no, that's perfect. If I can destroy most of you on the wall itself, that would be super. 87%. Ah. <laughs> missed down, I missed it. Okay, infantry advance. Gunners don't really have much of a job. Let's pick, keep picking out a unit of marines. Okay. Let's speed up time on my infantry gets into position. We haven't, there are no um, enemy mortars, so we don't have to worry about running up to the front line. What can work? Artillery. Pack ground in front of the bridge. Good quick line hit there. Holy moly. Okay, so I think I can make. Okay, let's get these three units pushed through. And let's begin to build our box of doom. Continental Marines are here. They've placed their stakes, but we don't really care. There we go. Form the box. Let's maybe make one how it's unit fire round shot into the centre. There's a unit of heavy cavalry in here. Some, well, not that it really matters. Oh, there they are. Nice. It's just regular old weird rain sounds. Full artillery can cease fire because we're going to start getting um, friendly fire. Okay, you men push and hold on that section by the gate. These men attack near where we can be charged. Light infantry attack up here. There we go. The fire has been opened up. Grenadiers, armed citizenry, infantry, yeah, they're all starting to come out. As soon as they leave the safety of their walls. Climbing howitzers, just focus on one unit to attack them, another unit, or two units which to round shot, attack the centre. Mm. 
Okay, let's get some of my heavy cavalry up here to defend the flank. Marines are just marching into the front line. Officer at the ready there. Little drummer playing. Not ready here, am I? I think he's pretending. Infantry to advance along the wall. I want my skirmishes to be here. Oh, there we go. We've effectively. <laughs> we've almost made the breach, but there's two units are going to push down to try and defend it. There we go. You men get up here. They're going to take the position since the enemy cavalry is on the loose. They killed a bunch of their own cavalry. They want to charge us, but it's not going to help. Are they going to come out of the gate to stop us? Nope. Well, they might. If you may want to attack up the wall, you can, but our numbers are growing up here. Really, it's my light infantry I want to get in, on, into position firing. Our howitzers are landing shots down into the city. Hello. This unit routed and came back. Okay, you men cease fire. One on one. Go on light infantry. Man the fire step. Pour musketry down into the centre of the fort. Delicious. All my infantry kill this one marine. But I'm calling a bit of a crossfire. My dragoons are gone. Grenadier guards are gone. The line infantry's gone. The you men man the center. Load and fire in your own time, gentlemen. Although, don't do that. Okay, now is definitely the time to attack the breach. I mean, that time, to be honest, that time probably is long past. Get my marines in there. Howitzers just keep attacking. Charge into the breach, Marines. Okay, you've taken that gate. Cuirassier, get ready to push in. Sharpshooters also get ready to do the same. Other than that, we can rely on the, the mass of my infantry to run through the enemy in the breach. You know, give my cavalry an order to run in. One last infantryman here. And give some of my guys orders to attack out of the attack out of the breach. QCS sw sw swivel into the regiment of horse. 
you won't get in here. It's my light cavalry sharpshooters. Come in and take out the general. Artillery. Ceasefire. Grand air guards are cutting their way through the militia. Okay, you can reaffirm orders just to run through the combat because now it's starting to chug because you've got all this stuff going on. get up here to help out my light cavalry sharpshooters somebody get his pick there we go now oh, we're starting to chug again Killing the cavalry. Eventually, they they will break. Actually, I think I might have to take one of my grenadier guard units off, separate them, and attack the general. And then eventually, they'll have a large amount of pressure against a bunch of units, and they will break and run the entire army. There we go. We got you, you dogs. Your city is ours. Nice. Okay. Kind of sucks it was raining, but see, Libby. Venice is ours. Let's get rid of the water power cloth mill. Uh, actually, we might actually be okay. Minus eight, minus eight. They really don't like us. If we get rid of the industry, they'll almost like us immediately. Then we need to get a priest in here. Actually, let's rebuild. Actually, let's not get rid of that. Let's repair the pleasure garden because that might help. Apart from that, everyone is marching on. Let's hit and turn. Yeah, we want our some of our armies over here that are currently sat here doing nothing up up on the frontier. And we need to make sure that Poland is recruiting a replacement army because this one will probably go campaigning. You've got your artillery, you're getting your skirmishes. Just get going. Um, this, keep your church school here. Okay, let's sit and turn and let things move on. So many Prussian armies. So many armies. I mean, they're just a very strong, very, very strong force. So when we attack the Prussians, we're probably going to have to try and really focus on a number of their key cities and see if we can kick the legs out of their economy rather rapidly. Here come the Ottomans as well. I think we do need to focus on the Russians so we can spin around and oh no we might have to deal with the Ottomans as well because Ottomans create some awful border gore. Ultimately if we break through in the Middle East then we can just take we can we can get the guts of the Ottoman Empire before they can do anything about it. We'll just swarm across the Middle East. They won't be able to stop us. They'll have lots of armies in the Balkans, so we'll have to resist for a while. But their economy will be in tatters, and then they'll just their forces will just start melting away. Okay, after we take well, after we attack Persia, that's once we take after we take Persia and we take the Mamluks in Baghdad, that will be the true test. 
Lots of Ottoman garbage moving around. That's part of the reason why people, it looks like the Ottoman intern has crashed. Because if because I've got access to their, um, I've got good trading relations with them, I can see all this happening. If I don't have trade with them, and it's happening in the fog of war, then I don't know it's happening, and it's just a stationary screen at times. Yeah, they got a few. They got a few fleets that we'll have to deal with, but we can deal with them. They might run havoc, cause havoc in the uh, trade zones, but we don't really mind. So they are already positioning near our front. Yeah, Zagreb needs to be fortified just for defensive operations. They don't have to have an offensive army in there. Mm, the Russians have got a handful of ragged troops at Esfahan. Oh, the Ottomans have taken Ardabil as well. Okay, right. After we take Esfahan, we're going to have to attack the Ottomans. Okay, let's take out the Napoleon rebels. Losing troops. Take everybody that's not a gunner. Oh, I said everybody that isn't a gunner. Just go get them. Undaunted. Undefeated. Nice, then recover back on the capital. March. Yes, sir. We can recruit some backups from Rome. To be honest, we fought this battle a few times. Let's just call it. Rome is taken. Get rid of the university, although I don't, Rome doesn't look like they're going to care. We're not going to be able to stop them from rebelling. Fleet arrives. Aha! Trade ships. Excellent. Okay, we can only really protect... With one fleet, we can only really protect two ships. Although we can do this and protect two fleets. We can protect two fleets per fleet. One fleet overall. Netherlands... These Dutch Dragoons over to Hanover. Okay, they should be okay after they after they come to terms with what's about to happen. There's good Milan. Milan infrastructure is about to be done. Trading port Toronto. Upgrade the church school. Let's get repairing. We should be able to deal with any rebel rebel issues that arise. Okay, Caracas. Okay. So we might actually rein in our Blitzkrieg against the Russians for a I'm being because we now it looks like we're gonna probably gonna have to deal with the Ottomans because the Rotters have taken more land than we want. Good, good, good. Top, 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 top. Working on striking Liguria. That's okay. Let's. If we can move both these African infantry out. Excellent. So you can cancel the recruitment of the militia. Okay, Roger Leverett. We might have to get into position. Okay, if we do have to attack the Ottomans next turn, we have a few armies here that can do things about it, but they are just 
They're still recruiting for backup. Melroy Mallory, you're getting to position ready to jump on Belgrade. You here at Klausenberg may have to just hold and defend against these guys. In which case then, Humphrey Sloper, you're going to go here in position to push towards Sophia. But we do want these armies to, to gain control of their districts as soon as practically possible. You see you probably going to invade Athens or maybe Patras. If Patras isn't defended, then we'll take Patras first. Oh, no, not yet. Yep, we can blitz and take Patras really quickly, then push on to Athens. Okay, trade port, then we've also got trade port here. Okay, right. So the Russia plan is still on, but it, we may end up being more defensive rather than offensive. This army may actually come down towards Lviv, ready to push these guys south. You're building up your army. The defences are on the way. Okay, let's get Riley down here as well. Yeah, Warsaw, you might be on the defensive for a while, in which case... Let's potentially move some of the cavalry and... and and artillery out so we can fill more of the town with infantry although i suspect all that's all that's going to happen is the prussians are going to become that much more powerful Arrgh. Sir. they'll spread their empire out at least mm. there's not a lot not a huge amount we can do about it let's get you over syracuse Let's actually not continue with this army. Well, they still very much don't like us. Sir, your orders. It's gonna be next turn till we get our until we get um, our churches built. So at Lisbon. Okay, let's get a rocket troop. Okay, let's get to building. Workers on strike. Punjab. Uh, you men. Make ready. Men. Forward. Can ready sit inside. At the ready. Anything more? Okay, this agent. Go out to Astrakhan. Kabul is being converted slowly but steadily. Can you leave? Certainly not. Sir. Soon though. Right, okay, because we've not we're not gonna be in position in the way that we want to be. Okay, you might hold. You might just actually sit here and defend. Yeah, it's gonna be unfortunate. The Prussians are probably gonna attack. Well, if we don't call the Prussians in, they won't attack. So let's maybe try that. But let's do this. Declare war. If I don't call the ally, well, this is a gamble. If I don't call them in and Russia calls them in, I might have to call them in to force them to pick. Does Prussia join us? Whew. Alliance broken between Russia and Prussia. So the Ottomans are also against the Russians. Anything more? Come on, bit weird. 
road. Okay. Push up the road towards the city. This army push up towards the Baghdad border. You're going to push up towards the city as well. Can you leave Zahedan yet? You can leave Zahedan. Excellent. Abner Collingwood. Okay, let's send a selection of armies. They're all going to crash into the back of each other. Okay, so we've got three, four armies here that can attack Esfahan, Baghdad, and attack these territories. We've got to select these four can push and attack them through the north. So then we've got a selection of armies here that can start to walk through the empty wastelands into eastern Russia. Awesome. Okay, our agents now begin their operations, trying to assassinate this general. Unlikely, but worth a gamble. Okay, let's send this army that way. This army this way. And then we've got... This army, okay, just give them orders just to keep running up. Constant force flow. Okay, then here. Let's start to package up some of these armies. Embark. First of all, you bottle up that force there. Attack St. Petersburg. It looks like they've got nobody to... Well, they've got no, get no fleets defending it. Okay, we might actually fight that. But first, we want to make sure our... Attack on Finland also goes off. Okay, drop off the coast. Excellent. So that's ready to rock and roll. You're going to be ready to deal with... We're going to have to be ready to deal with these Ottomans. There's an awful lot of them. So these forces... Yeah, well, we do we need to take a bit of time to get Italy back into the fold. I get Paris to recruit a couple of turns of light dragoons. Start to flood Italy with them. Crimea is also an enemy of ours, but I can't I can't really make use of this army yet. They'll probably hold well they'll they'll stay where they are ready to attack the Ottomans in the south in Italy. Right, but we probably do want to take this army and attack St. Petersburg. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of St. Petersburg. Cheers, everyone.